Across the world, across the world, I need your help. Lab assistant Neon, what brings you to the lab? Oh, well, my controller isn't working. You mean the one which stops intruders with high frequency sound? Yeah, but it's not emitting the sound. I really need your help. Oh, don't worry, I can fix this. We can't let them get close enough to steal our science experiments. Hook them! Right, or Elamon. I can fix this circuit. I think it's just broken. A circuit? Yes, this device has a circuit in it. I can fix this circuit or make it better. Well, you were the one that made it in the first place, so you're the best person for this job. All right, I'm going to go buy some more science supplies and I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> yes, this device works by completing the circuit. The circuit must be broken. Professor World, I have an idea for a new segment. Can I? Can I? Uh, what's it called? Circuitry with Calm. While I identify what's wrong with this circuit, why don't we learn about circuitry with calm? A circuit is a way to get electricity from one point to another along a closed path. For electricity, there are all kinds of circuits. Simple circuits, closed circuits, open circuits, short circuits, series circuits, parallel circuits. Let's look at a simple circuit, since that's the kind of circuit I'll be fixing today. You got it. A simple circuit consists of at least one power source, like a battery. There's also an electrical component, like a light bulb. Also, there's a conducting wire that carries the electric current between them. That's right, which means I have to figure out how to get this circuit to have a complete path. Precisely. I have an idea. Let's see a circuit in action. A simple circuit. Well, almost. We need to complete the circuit first. The battery pack will serve as the power source. This is where the electricity will come from. This is the negative end of the battery. This is the positive end. Electricity will move out from the negative end, through the wire, to the fan, and back to the positive side of the battery. As long as there's no break in the circuit, this fan will turn on. Right now, the fan is not on because the circuit is not closed. Once we close the circuit, let's see what happens. The fan's working! Woo! Look at that! You gotta love science, right? We close the circuit, which means the electricity flows freely to the fan, turning it on. Now that we know how it works, let's make it bigger and better. It's time for an experiment! First we need batteries. Next we need electrical components. Now the aluminum foil. Cardboard. Ping pong balls. Hey, get back here! Popsicle sticks, they're everywhere! Now we use aluminum foil for our conductor wire. Let's take our ping pong ball and wrap it in aluminum foil. We have to roll it until it smoothly covers the ping pong ball. Let's check out the building montage. than she needed. <laughs> My masterpiece is finished! Wow! This is very impressive. How does it work? First, you turn on this switch right here. This switch closes the first circuit. This allows the conductor wire to bring electricity to the fan. The fan then blows the aluminum foil ping pong ball down the ramp. When the ping pong ball lands in this hole, it closes the second circuit, which sends power to the motor. This motor then releases the second ping pong ball down the slide. As the ball rolls, it closes these circuits and turns on the lights. Then, the ping pong ball hits the dominoes, knocking the final ping pong ball into this hole. This closes the last circuit. Finally, this sounds the alarm and scares intruders. Professor, this is really cool, but also very unnecessary. You're right, it's very cool. Try it out, try it out. Let's do it! And now, it's time for slow motion.
You went above and beyond for this circuit. You know what that means, Calm. It's time for my electric dance. Professor World, I'm back with all the science supplies. <gasps> Wait, you're dancing? That must mean that you completed the circuit. Yes, I've actually created a bigger and better circuit that will keep intruders miles away. Oh, wow. How does it work? Check it out. Yes, yes. Woo! What do you think? It's amazing. I love it. All the switches, very innovative. Uh, the only thing is... Yes? Well, how am I supposed to fit this in my pocket when I'm in the field? <sighs> right. I might have made it too much bigger and too much better. Okay, well, I'll come back tomorrow. Well, it looks like I got a lot of work to do. That's all for Professor World today.